Hi, this is Tahir. Today I will assist how to install hosting controller on a fresh system. This is Windows uh, 2016 Server Edition. The objective is to install hosting controller application in high availability mode to facilitate exchange services. Before we continue uh, with the demonstration, uh, let's verify if static IP is binded in the network card or not, which we can do it from here. Here, static IP is binded in this uh, test lab machine. The second step is to verify that if we have given the computer name or you can call it uh, uh, net bios name for the in the system if you type in the command line host name it is given okay so now we can proceed uh, with the prerequisite installation first make sure that dotnet 4.8 or higher version is installed in the system once you install it then we will install web server role on this portal machine if we go to the server manager click add role and feature we can select web server is role We will not select .NET 2.0 version because it is not required for the hosting controller version 10 application. Uh, since you have already installed 4.8 version uh, and if this option is not selected here 4.6 then you can select .NET Framework 4.6. You can press next. Okay. Okay, we will try to uh, enable IS minimal feature list uh, on this screen. Some feature are better to be enabled as it provides some extra features option uh, in the is so we enable those feature like dynamic contact uh, compression static content compression etc for the application development we will select dotnet 4.6 application initialization we will not select or uh, enable dotnet 3.5 asp or cgi okay ignore the rest we do not need ftp role on this machine because uh, this system we are preparing is typically to facilitate the control panel url uh, and act will be hosting controller master or portal machine uh, in high availability mode it is recommended that uh, you set up two portal machine so the instruction uh, i'm following uh, on this machine uh, you should follow the same on the second portal machine so we will click on install it will take uh, a while to complete the is prerequisite installation has been completed now we can proceed with the hosting controller application installation this is the latest hosting controller version 10 installer right click and select install option this is the first installation of the hosting controller application on portal 1 machine this is the default location of the hosting controller application which is C program file hosting controller but uh, obviously you can change it if you want I will go with the default option okay uh, in the installation uh, you can see two option create a new cluster uh, this option will be used uh, with the fresh installation 
on the first machine on the portal machine remember when you uh, do the installation on the second portal machine then you will select option connect to an existing cluster and the rest of the information will be pretty much the same as you select for the option number one so since this is the first installation we will select create a new cluster okay here are the two options for the database hosting controller system use ms sql as a database server to store all control panel related information uh, the installer provide an option uh, to create a new database in sql server or if you have already created a blank database then you can use it but if you the uh, select create a new database option then it is required that you must provide a sql administrator credential such user privileges uh, to create a db in sql server um, but i will demonstrate you uh, with the plank database which is already created in my sql server in this case i do not need uh, SQL administrator account information I will just use database login information okay if we go on next screen I I will insert the SQL instance name uh, since I am uh, showing a guideline for setting up the panel in high availability mode so I would recommend that you use SQL uh, in cluster form or always on uh, technology uh, my lab is designed with SQL always on so I will insert the high availability I will provide the high availability group uh, instance name I will give the database name that which is already existed uh, a blank as a blank DB in my SQL server give the database login name insert the password for the DB user I will insert the same DB user password which I have given on the previous screen This will be the control panel administrator account information default name is hc admin but obviously you can change it you can change the username and password i will go with the default option okay S server admin user the installer will require the a local system or the domain controller if you uh, you are going uh, to connect the hosting controller in the domain controller environment then you can create a simple account in the active directory without having any special permissions um, it is required uh, by the installer to validate or authenticate uh, internal hosting controller ap application with the a local system it is for the security purpose so if i go to my active directory I have an OU with name service accounts and I have created a simple account with name HC panel you can see that it's a simple domain user uh, its password is set is uh, password never expire because it's service account so this account I can use in the installation process and let's click on the install button to continue with the hosting controller application it will hardly take two to three minutes to complete this process uh, once it is done then i will show that uh, uh, how hosting controller make changes in the system uh, i will i will show you is manager I will show the hosting controller services in the system and scheduler task and after that we can log in into the control panel system let's hold for a while till this process has been
finished. The installation process has been completed. Now let uh, let me show you what changes uh, has been done by this installer on uh, on this system. First, I will open IS Manager. The installer will have create two websites in the IS. One is uh, for the hosting controller API, and the second is for the hosting controller web URL. Uh, you can bind any desired URL uh, to access the portal from uh, from public uh, location, and you can bind any ad, uh, entry with HTTPS here. The second thing I will show that uh, there will be three services installed in the system by the installer, and the most important service for the hosting control application, which is more like a backbone service, is call hosting controller provisioning services these services must be running all the time uh, with status automatic if this services is down or uh, terminated then the control panel will not function the rest of two services hc client and hc server services is mostly used for file transferring uh, it is not used in case you are running uh, enterprise exchange services, but uh, I will recommend that not to make any changes, leave as it is. Okay, uh, another thing that hosting controller add a different schedule in the system on the portal one machine, uh, and its purpose uh, it is for the purpose to execute uh, different uh, crons activity automatically, uh, for example, uh, uh, sync. Uh, mailbox sync process uh, after specific interval any schedule scheduler that uh, do not relate to your hosting services I will recommend to disable it for better control panel performance and to avoid any extra load on the server for example uh, if you are not running uh, office 365 services in the control panel then you can simply disable that scheduler task uh, any other service that is related to the shared hosting services like VMware, you can disable it, virtualization, web statistics, uh, uh, disk space calculation. Uh, it is not required uh, while running Exchange, SharePoint, or Skype for Business, uh, Skype for business uh, uh, services. Okay, now let's move ahead and open the control panel web URL. Let me open it. Okay, we can open with HTTPS. Localhost 87971 is the default port of the hosting controller web application. Uh, this is the hosting controller portal system comes with the web access URL allowing host and customer to log in in the HC system to operate their hosting services and manage their tenant data such as mailboxes, distribution group, SharePoint site, etc. This interface is totally customizable and its installation directory is located into the hosting controller installation directory. Let me show it to you, which is the, the path which we can select or display during the installation. It is C program file, hosting controller. See, this is the hosting controller installation directory tool folder okay uh, portals here you can see themes uh, and this folder contain the hosting con uh, controller theme which is uh, which you can customize it and some other configurations or settings are located in this section in the config file uh, it stored the database connectivity uh, in future if you change or modify uh, the database connectivity or database name or database user then you can simply update the information here remember that uh, if you change the password for the database uh, user which is which is used to connect the hosting of the database then the, the panel will not allow you to log in into the system so you will must update the credentials uh, using this config file located into the hosting controller installation directory so now let's proceed and log in into the control panel as the system administrator this is the same account name uh, which was displayed by the installer 
so we will log in into the control panel after the access uh, into the uh, control panel uh, you will first tell that which roles you want to use in the panel you can see uh, the cluster setting option on the top right side configuration gear if we click on here cluster settings on premises or cloud services enable the desired application which you are planning to use with the hosting controller for example for microsoft exchange you can see a different version of exchange in my test lab i have installed XC 2016 version so I will enable this one this version share for the SharePoint I will enable SharePoint right now uh, using this tip we are just telling the control panel that our intention is to use these particular services if you are running any uh, web server hosting then you can enable it or DNS hosting or database hosting you can simply enable from this option enabling this option doesn't mean that these services are automatically configured into the control panel in order to configure these services into the uh, into the panel we will need to add the provisioning node or you can call it server instances into the control panel uh, by navigating uh, using menu configuration icon and click on servers add server let's say we are adding an exchange server uh, in this control panel to add on-premises exchange version we will select uh, this category on-premises enterprise give the user friendly name for the exchange in my example I will give for example e.exchange I will select the role Microsoft exchange on the next step I will insert the exchange server IP and uh, the account information to connect the exchange server using remote PowerShell this will be a whole another demonstration which I will provide uh, uh, to you guys in some other video but in today's session my objective was to display that how we can install hosting controller on a fresh system which we are planning to offer exchange hosting either as a public cloud or the or private cloud and I have uh, shown that how we can achieve uh, the installation in high availability mode uh, for that purpose I suggested to have a two portal machines uh, on on both machine we will install the hosting controller primary agent same installer in case one portal machine goes down then the control panel web URL will be resolved or route from portal 2 machine and in order to have a, a portal machine in high availability you must be running SQL server in failover technology you can adopt any technology you want uh, like uh, SQL always on SQL cluster SQL mirror in my test lab uh, I use SQL 2019 version always on technology so that's it guys uh, thank you for your time and if you have any questions you can contact to our support department or leave a message here thank you so much bye bye